Hello everyone. Uh, this video that I'm creating is a short video intended for, for a very specific purpose, and that is for those of you that have used Rob Tui's uh, four-part video series on YouTube to set up your Fantasy Grounds and Discord and Voice Meter Banana to essentially run Sirenscape and other sounds through. That's worked great for me. However, Discord sound is not always the best for piping the uh, Sirenscape through. It's not in stereo, and sometimes for me it, it has a walkie-talkie uh, quality to it. So I wanted a better way to stream sound. So essentially this video is building on what you have already set up using Rob's tutorial videos. And now taking the sound for Sirenscape in your desktop and streaming it to a direct audio stream by essentially opening a port um, within your own IP address and streaming it to that port using VLC Media Player. So let's dive right in and the programs you'll need and I'm not going to show you how to download, I'll assume you have, is Voice Meter Banana. Uh, OBS Studio is what I record with. VLC Media Player, here is a link to download that. And Fantasy Grounds, of course, Sirenscape, and then again, if this doesn't make sense to you already, please, please check out Rob Tui's YouTube sound videos. It's a four-part series that you can find on YouTube. So, if you've used Rob's videos, your voice meter banana setup should look pretty much like I have on my screen here. You've got Gwid's headset for me, so whatever your headset is, Discord, Sirenscape, and you might only have one of these, but I had music, music and my PC sounds, and then separately, I had a setup for Windows Media Player. Start thinking about these two outputs as your hardware outputs. So you've got voice meter VAIO, voice meter AUX. VAIO is your main output. So I'll show you very quickly, but you should already have this set up this way as well. If you follow Rob's videos, voice meter's input is your default, and voice meter output is your default. Not auxiliary, but output. So again, how you listen through voice meter banana or using voice meter banana is A1 is what's going to your headset. B1 is essentially what the stream will pick up. So I don't want my voice, so I just have B1. Discord, I want to hear what's coming out of Discord, and I want the stream to hear what's coming out of Discord. Sirenscape, we don't have to have anything checked because it's being pumped through Discord. And again, this is the old setup. Music, I wanted to hear it myself and the stream. And then Windows Media Player, I just had going through the auxiliary output and that went into Discord. So again, I would hear that through Discord. So that's the old way. All right, so let's jump into the new way and I wanna start by showing you how to set up the stream using VLC Media Player. So go out and download this, simple download. Once you have it downloaded, it's pretty easy to set up. So you go to Media, Stream, click on Capture Device, and you don't want video device check, just none. Audio device, it's going to be voice meter output. So again, the VAIO, not the aux, but the output. And then click on Stream. Just hit Next here. And you want to change file to HTTP. That's how we're going to be broadcasting. And then Add. So you can leave the port as 8080. And again, this is coming from your IP address through port 8080. It's really important. We'll need to forward your port. So if you have a, a, a modem and a wireless router, as an example, which is my setup, I have to forward port 8080 from my modem to my wireless router and from my wireless router to my computer. So you need to go out and check out Fantasy Grounds and the House of Healing if you're not sure how to port forward. And there's a lot of detail behind it. But again, this won't work until you make sure this port is open and you forwarded it. Once you've done that, you hit next. Audio, I'm going to go to MP3, next. And don't worry about checking this miscellaneous option, you're fine. Stream. And you are streaming. That is, that is it. Pretty straightforward. So just to show you basically what it would look like for the player. So if you're the player, wherever they are, they will open VLC Media Player and they will click Media open network stream, and then they'll type in the URL or the HTTP address. So it's going to be whatever my 
IP address is. So let's just plug in something. One up. Uh, help if I had number key on HTTP colon say 192.168.22 whatever and then colon 8080. And that's what that's the what you would give them whatever your IP address is colon 8080 you'll send that to the players once they have it they just open VLC type that in and hit play and they'll pick up your stream that's as simple as that then they can change the sound quality so if they want to do different presets full bass and treble full bass only they can control all that and the volume down here and that's it they just leave this open during the game and so if this was a real game I would just minimize this but for now, that's all I want to show you for VLC, nothing else to show. But again, in the game, you wouldn't close it, but I'm going to close it now. Okay, so you've got VLC set up. Now, what do you need to change in Voice Meter Banana? So I'm going to load the new settings for my VLC settings. So you still see most of this appears the same. Music PC, I don't have anything in AUX, and that's because... I really want everything coming out of my music and PC. I don't, I'm not worried about a separate um, output for Windows Media Player anymore. So you'll see here a couple of different things. You'll see B2 clicked and B1. So again, as we said before, B1 is the main output. B2 is the auxiliary output. And the importance behind that is I want the players to hear Sirenscape and the music playing from my PC or any any audio device I've downloaded so if I play something through VLC like I've downloaded tabletop audio sounds I want them to hear that but I do not want them to hear my voice through the audio stream so my audio output my direct output to that they're gonna pick up is going out to B1 and again that's the main output okay so they're gonna hear Sirenscape through that stream they're gonna hear anything coming out of my PC B2 is the auxiliary output. So the reason I have this set up is so you as the stream hear me now, but they're not going to hear anything going to B2. So you can see how I'll have one of these checked for each output, but not both. And the reason before that we had Sirenscape was all blank because it was pumping through Discord under the old setup. But now I need to put it to, this, to the audio output. So how did I get OBS to pick up both of these when normally... OBS will pick up your main output. So again, you remember our main output is the voice meter output. So let me show you what I did in OBS. So I'm not going to pull it over because it would look all funky, but uh, I'm going to pull over the settings screen. So I just opened up on the bottom right of OBS when you open the main uh, screen, the settings. Click on audio. I'm not going to go over really these top three what I really want to cover is the mic in auxiliary audio devices. So you see you can have three different audio um, mics going into OBS. Default is, again, voice meter output, as I've set it up. So I added, when you open yours, if you set it up the way Rob told you, this output device here will be disabled. Change that to voice meter aux. So again, just click this open, voice meter aux. Now when you do that, then OBS is picking up both your main output and your auxiliary output. So now you're hearing my voice because I've had my voice set through the auxiliary output. Anything I have through Discord, because we'll still use our voice through Discord, will be coming out um, through auxiliary output again, and I want to hear that too. But the players are going to hear only what's coming out through B1 in that audio stream. They'll hear my voice through Discord just like normal. So again, clicking on having B1 set and B1 here is going to get all my Sirenscape sounds and all my music, anything I play directly from my PC is going to go to them. And that's really it. What's really cool about this now is Sirenscape sounds are now fully in stereo, which is awesome because previously uh, when you pipe them through Discord, they're, they're not in stereo. It's just kind of a mono sound. So to me... This takes a little bit more setup, but now I can control Sirenscape individually, the sound, uh, the volume, as well as the music, anything coming out of my PC. So that's it. 
I tried to keep it under 10 minutes and I think I just about succeeded. So if you guys have any questions or feedback on the video, please post it. But until next time, I hope this helps you out and happy gaming, everybody.